Can you name this secret identity? This 12 foot tall future dwelling cyborg used to be a human computer genius before getting an upgrade by the Badoon. Stick around for the answer at the end of the show. Hey Marvelites, September previews have arrived and we can look forward to exciting Infinity tie-ins. Infinity the Hunt, the four issue series by Matt Kent with art by Steven Sanders, pits super students against each other in the contest of champions, only to be interrupted by none other than Thanos' forces. It's a bad day for a track meet, huh? The limited series Infinity Heist by Frank Thierry with art by Al Barrio Nuevo proves that when there is blood in the water, the sharks start to circle. With the Earth under attack, we can guess that it won't be long before the Marvel U's baddest baddies get to feel in opportunistic. <laughs> September also means LEGO variant covers. Iconic Marvel covers are getting an adorable twist under the expert hand of Leo Castellani, Christopher Jones, and Adam DeCracker, depicting your favorite Marvel characters in all of their LEGO glory. Aww. Start building your collection this fall, piece by piece. Are you guys playing the new Deadpool game yet? It hit stores June 25th on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. Did you play? What did you think? Tell me down below. In fashion news, our indestructible Hulk is getting a redesign and that includes new armor. Our own Paul Montgomery caught up with artist Mukesh Singh this week to talk about the Hulk's new look and was quoted as saying, the aim was to come up with a version of the existing armor for Bruce Banner tweaked for time travel. The brief was no jetpacks, no weapons of mass destruction system, you don't need WMD when you have a Hulk, no shark repellents, and no lunch boxes. You guys, don't mess with the Hulk. You won't like him when he's hungry. What do you think of his new duds? Check out the full interview on marvel.com and linked below. Are you guys gonna be at San Diego Comic-Con? Because if you are, you can get your very own Fantastic Four Galactus Mini Bus from Gentle Giant. It's a limited edition and it's exclusive to San Diego Comic-Con. As you can see, it's also super detailed. It's got this awesome flight pattern of Silver Surfer here in the front, going off to herald the destruction of worlds. You can come home and eat your own little planets. Are you guys gonna be at San Diego Comic-Con? Tell me what you think down below. And now it's time for the watch list, where I give you my top picks for books hitting comic stores and the Marvel Comics app this Wednesday, June 26th. Guys, it is a great week to be reading comics. First up, Guardians of the Galaxy number four by Brian Michael Bendis with outstanding art by Sarah Pacelli. Gamora is the deadliest woman in the galaxy, so don't be surprised if Tony Stark bit off a little bit more than he can chew, or any man could chew for that matter. Next, Uncanny X-Force number seven by Sam Humphreys with art by Adrian Alfona and Dalibor Talajic. Get the real story behind the breakup between Psylocke and Phantom X and see why dating a guy with three brains can be complicated. And speaking of complicated, Uncanny X-Men number seven by Brian Michael Bendis with Uncanny Art by Fraser Irving. The art in this book is absolute magic with an incredible use of light and negative imagery. And speaking of magic, she is having a lot of trouble with Limbo, but can she bend far enough to make it under that pole one more time? And now it's time for Amazing Fantasy Showdown where we throw down on who we want to show down. Last week, Hyperion released two new prose novels featuring two of Marvel's mightiest ladies. She-Hulk is revealing her innermost in the She-Hulk Diaries, and Rogue is hitting the road in Rogue Touch. But who would win in an all-out brawl between the two? Tell me what you think down below, and your comment might be watched right here on The Watcher. And if you guessed that that cybertechnic secret identity was Korvac, hey, you were right. Michael Korvac became as powerful as the sun with a Badoon and amputated his lower half and replaced it with robotics. Ouch. Not cool, man. How do you even... Never mind. He would later be pitted in the Contest of Champions. Hey, remember the Contest of Champions coming to Infinity the Hunt this fall? You guys, full circle. Homework, go check out the original Contest of Champions from 1982 on the Marvel Unlimited app. And I'll see you guys next time, true believers. I'm Lorraine Sink for Marvel, your universe.
Marvel, your universe.